Have you ever wondered how your body processes the food you eat? The journey of your food starts at ingestion, when you take that first bite. This is where the magic of digestion begins, an intricate process that converts food into the nutrients our bodies need to function, grow, and repair themselves. So let's take a closer look at this first stage. When you chew your food, you're not just breaking it down into smaller pieces. You're also kickstarting the digestion process. Your teeth grind the food, while your saliva goes to work. It moistens the food, making it easier to swallow. But that's not all. Saliva also contains enzymes that start the process of breaking down complex carbohydrates into simpler sugars. So, the next time you're enjoying a meal, remember, the moment you start chewing your food, your body is already at work, breaking it down. After you swallow, your food embarks on a wild ride down your esophagus. This isn't just any slide, though. It's a complex journey, powered by a series of muscle contractions known as peristalsis. These rhythmic waves push food from your throat all the way into your stomach, ensuring your meal doesn't take a detour back up the pipe. Once in the stomach, your food finds itself in a highly acidic environment. This pool of gastric juices made up of enzymes and hydrochloric acid serves a vital purpose. It's like a natural blender, breaking down the food into a semi-liquid state called chyme. The stomach's muscular walls then get to work, contracting and relaxing to mix and churn the food with the gastric juices. This process is crucial as it helps break down complex proteins and carbohydrates, preparing them for absorption in the next stages of digestion. Think of your stomach as a mixer, churning and breaking down food with its powerful acids. Once your food is liquefied in the stomach, it enters the small intestine. This 20-some feet long organ is the star player in the game of digestion, where the vast majority of nutrient absorption happens. To understand this better, let's think of the small intestine as a bustling city. The buildings, or villi and microvilli, increase the surface area, making it an efficient place for absorption. Now, these buildings need workers, and that's where the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder come in. The pancreas is like a factory, producing digestive enzymes that break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The liver, on the other hand, is the city's recycling center, producing bile to emulsify fats and make them easier to digest. The gallbladder is the storage unit, holding onto the bile until it's needed in the small intestine. Together, these organs ensure that the food you eat is broken down into its smallest components. These tiny molecules of nutrients then cross the villi's cell membranes and enter your bloodstream, ready to be used by your body. This process is so efficient that by the time food has passed through the small intestine's winding path, about 90% of all nutrients have been extracted. So the next time you enjoy a meal, remember the bustling city within you diligently working to extract every bit of goodness from your food. By the time food leaves your small intestine, your body has absorbed the nutrients it needs. The last stop on this journey is the large intestine. This might not be a glamorous part of the digestive process, but it's a crucial one. After nutrients have been absorbed in the small intestine, the leftover indigestible food matter moves into the large intestine, also known as the colon.